Hi guys, um, I want to share an experience with you, or actually a few experiences that just make me so excited and so happy. Um, I'm smiling from ear to ear because I'm just so happy. Um, and first, before I get started, I wanted to point out something. This hat, um, you're going to see this in a lot of future videos, and you may have even seen it in some previous videos. And pretty much, this is my cover hat. Um, when I get home from work, you know, had a long day, don't really feel like redoing my hair, I just take it out. My hair is really short, so it's just like, whoosh. So, um, this is the cover hat, meaning it just covers up any old thing underneath the hat. So, um, don't mind that, you're going to see a lot of it, just warning you. Anyway, uh, like I was saying, I am going to share a few experiences with you, and before I do that, I just wanted to say that, like, I'm starting to come to terms with the fact that celebrities are human. You know, like, obviously I knew that before, but, you know, it's only, like, a given that fans kind of idolize um, celebrities, and um, that's okay, that's cool, because yes, they're amazing people and they do wonderful things, you know, they entertain us and make us happy, but um, I just think that it's important to realize that, you know, they're only human, and there's only so much they can do, they, you know, they eat, they sleep, they breathe just like us, they even go to the bathroom, just like we do, <laughs> and that is the way I think of it, um, you know, so... I think that it's good when a celebrity can be humbled enough to, you know, reach out to their fans and reply to fans, but then at the same time, I know that it can be difficult because there are so many fans and just one celebrity, and they're not superhuman. A lot of people seem to think that they are, like, they have, like, extra powers or something, but they aren't, and, you know, they're here on this earth just like us, and they're humans just like us. But anyway, getting into what I wanted to talk about, um, I'm really excited and really happy because in the past little while, I've been getting a lot of replies from the Jacksons, um, which is really cool, I don't know, um, I'm trying not to be all like, oh my god, but really, how can you not be like, oh my god, because it's just so cool, um, I will tell you that the first ever communication I ever had with the Jackson was with Latoya Jackson, and it was just around the time that she released her book, really, really good book, if you have not read it, please read it, starting over. Um, it's amazing. It made me laugh, cry, and just, it was just so intriguing that I could not put it down. I read it in one night. So, pretty much, I just told her that I loved her book and that I would be, like, ecstatic if she would, um, retweet me, and she did. So, that was amazing. I remember I was in the grocery store when I realized, like, oh my god, she retweeted me. And I was, like, on cloud 9 or 10 or 11 or 12, even, like, 13, 15, I don't know, I skipped 14, that's how crazy it was for me, like, I was just so excited, and I was like, the whole day, and I just couldn't stop talking about it, even my mom was like, girl, you okay, you got a fever, but yeah, really, it was just so cool, and that was the first thing ever, then this week, I had a slew of kind of like messages or replies from the Jacksons, so the first one was from Jermaine Jackson, which is really exciting, uh, I love him, and my favorite song is like, Dynamite. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I really can't, I'm like tone deaf right now, but I really like that song, and I really like Jermaine, so it was really cool to get a reply from him. I saw him on Pierce Morgan, and I really liked that interview. I thought he did a really good job, and it was amazing how he defended his brother. Uh, so I just kind of tweeted him about the fact that like I watched that late at night, and then I woke up late for work, but I told him that it was worth it because, you know, I really love Michael and I love him, so that was all good, and then after that I decided to just um, send him another message asking him, like, how does one get so lucky as to get a reply from you? Please make my day. And he definitely made my day. He replied by saying, you just get lucky, have a great day. And of course, like I said, I did have a great day after that. Like, I was at the bus terminal going home from work, and it was like, I had a long day, I saw that, and it was like... So people must think I'm crazy because like I always get this huge grin like, oh my god, and I was so excited um, all the way home, I swear, I kept reading it over and over again, trying to make sure it was real. I favorited it, so it is on my Twitter now. I'm always reminded of the fact that Jermaine replied to me, try not to be too like awestruck because like I said, they're just humans, Clea, they're just humans. But you know, it was cool, they took the time to, you know, reach out to people, and that's really cool. Um, 
I know that there's so many people out there who want replies or want to be retweeted, but, you know, um, my advice to you is just keep trying. Um, I know that they do see the messages. Maybe not every single one, but they see a great majority of them. Just they can't reply to everybody, but, you know, they do see you. Just know that. And, um, I mean, keep trying, but don't be annoying. I mean, don't be, like, spamming them or asking really personal questions. But I'm pretty confident that you will get your retweet or your reply or whatever it is you're looking for. Um... I got mine, so I was not expecting that. That's really cool. Second thing that happened was with Kayla. She is a cousin. Um, I think she's the second or third cousin of Paris, Prince, and Blanket. Um, I think that her dad might be Joseph's brother, or he's Joseph's brother's son, something like that. So either way, she's related, and I know that she's in a lot of pictures with Paris, and they hang out a lot and do a lot together. So it was really cool. I just... Um, I talked to her about movies. She said that she was going to answer any questions, you know, directed to her. So I just asked her what movie she saw recently and which was her favorite. She likes Columbiana, which is really cool because I like that movie too. And um, I commented on her TwitCon because it's really pretty. And she just thanked me for that. And I told her that I like Columbiana also and it makes me want to be an assassin, which is true. And she replied saying, I know, right? And she thanked me again for the TwitCon thingy or whatever. So really it was like two messages from her and two from me. So a little exchange, which is really cool. Um, that was exciting as well. And she's really down to earth. So I don't know. It's just really cool. Um, then today... I noticed that Prince and Paris did not have school today, and um, they were on Twitter, well, mostly Prince was on Twitter for a large amount of time, so in that chunk of time, I was on my break um, from work, so I did comment um, to him. Pretty much, it was just like, he has this picture, which is really funny, it's this really dark guy who looks like a bull, and he's in a prison uniform, and it says, he took my chicken, I took his life, which is really hilarious, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but hilarious at the same time. Um, some girl kind of just commented to him and said, hey, Prince, well, she spelled his name wrong, and she was like, you know, you're getting sexier and sexier, blah, 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 and, um, so he was like, thanks, um, by the way, my name is Prince, so I just kind of played off of that, and I put, hey, Preen, you know, the P-R-I-N-E, which is how she spelled it, I was like, you know, I wonder if girls would think you're so sexy if you looked like the guy in your TwitCon, I'm like, because he is so sexy, and, um, pretty much the reply I got was, ah, ha, ha, um, I know that's crazy, but it's cool to know that he saw my tweet, he recognized it, and singled it out, so, that was really cool. Now my mission is to get him to follow me. I don't know if that'll work. If it doesn't, I mean, I'm not going to, like, die over that. But it'd be nice if you could follow me. Um, and pretty much that's it. I'm kind of hoping for a reply from Paris one day because that would be really cool. You guys know I always tweet. I mean, not tweet. Well, if you guys do have me on Twitter, you know that I do tweet her a lot. And I talk about her on YouTube a lot, so it'd be really cool to get a reply from her. And I feel like being close or having a small, even the smallest connection to his family is like having a cool connection to Michael in a way. And if you guys did not already notice, I love Michael. Um, he's my favorite celebrity, and I am guilty for idolizing him. I know I just go crazy over him, but like, how can I not? It's Michael Jackson, and I mean, everybody loves Michael Jackson, right? So anyway, um, it had always been one of my dreams to meet him, and um, obviously my dream got cut short, and that's really unfortunate, but I think that he lives on through his children, his family, and, you know, friends and fans even, so really cool to be that, like, connected with them, even just through, like, Twitter. It's really cool. So uh, if you guys want to check out their Twitters, I will post the links to their Twitters down below. Also, if you want to check out my Twitter, it's at Shorty, S-H-O-R-T-T-I-3, which is the exact same as my YouTube channel. So, uh, it'd be great to have followers. I love meeting new fans and people, not my fans, I mean fans of Michael Jackson, duh. I love Michael Jackson fans. I relate to them really well. And I'm so grateful for everybody who's subscribed so far and, you know, showed me love. Um, I do want to make a shout out to someone because she's been really good to me. MJ Lover Forever 27 thank you for shouting me out on your Twitter. That was really sweet of you. And um, I look forward to talking to you more on Twitter and YouTube. And thanks so much for watching my videos. And that goes for all of you. Thank you for watching my videos. 
Uh, so comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!